Joining me now is the Honourable David Pacini, the Minister of Environment, Conservation and Parks and the MPP for Northumberland, Peterborough South. David, thanks for joining me this afternoon on the heels of the announcement uh, that you just made uh, today, and that is the Development and Ontario Youth Environment Council. So I'll let you start off by explaining what this is about, why it is starting, and then we'll get into some other questions as to how people can get involved in such. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Really exciting um, to, to ensure, you know, as Ontario's youngest environment minister, to ensure that youth have a seat at the table. Um, that's why I'm really excited uh, today to announce that we're launching Ontario's first ever uh, youth environment council, where we'll give youth between the ages of grade 9 to 12 the opportunity to have a seat at the table, meeting monthly over the duration from September to approximately April, May, um, to have, again, as I said, a seat at the table, to help uh, shape and inform public policy and, uh, and advise government. And given that climate change, conservation, our, our parks, you know, and our, and our natural environment is a generational issue, it's so important that youth who have some of the great ideas have a seat at the table and have a say. And as is the case with so many uh, po government policies, this has its origins for me um, with, with the two Hannahs I met in, uh, in Brighton. And I met them a, a few years back where they were just so energetic, full of life, had uh, one provincial uh, science project on the use of biodegradable plas uh, plastic wraps that they developed. And it's not plastic, of course, it's uh, completely biodegradable. I believe uh, it was developed with cornstarch and, and other uh, material and it, and it biodegrades and it, and it completely um, extends the life of whatever it's wrapped in, and they won a number of awards. And in fact, when uh, when when a piece of that wrapping was uh, was left in in soil, it actually improved the growth of plant life. So, um, you know, this is a sort of youthful energy that I'm excited to see at the table, and I just can't wait to to engage them and have their you know hear their ideas. Now, David, is this something that's been in the works for, uh, in the, in the uh, environment file for a bit, or is this something that you have come up with uh, that you would want to see put in place since you've been announced as the environment minister? It's, uh, it's something that I've seen in place. I know it was, again, when we made the commitment to, to have, uh, to engage youth, it sort of, you know, it depends on what form that, that looks like. And, uh, and, and for me, it was critical uh, to work with the team to design a program that engages youth um, in at, at a high school age and that's reflective of, of all corners of the province and did a lot of consulting uh, mark with uh, with different groups I've spoke to um, the uh, the First Nations chiefs uh, of Ontario um, spoke as well uh, to uh, the president of the Ontario student uh, student trustees um, Justine who was at the event with me and spoke um, we had 4-H, um, you know, Earth Rangers, so many other players very interested in this, all of whom uh, are supportive of what the government's doing. And I would add even, um, you know, even spoke with Environmental Defense on this, who are very keen, uh, keen on, on what the government's doing here. Now, David, as you were aware, and many people are aware, it's and what I'm about to say isn't anything or, or anything new. This province of Ontario is large and diverse, and in some occasions, you can drive an hour in any direction. And an environmental issue may be something completely different from one location yes. to to another location. How do you gather that information then, and, and figure out what is going to be best for the province when you hear from these from these kids? Well, first, I want to really ensure. Uh, through the next two uh, three week application process that that we're getting a variety of perspectives from uh, a, a variety of applications, I should say, from across the province. And to do that, you know, we've reached out to a number of different groups, as I mentioned, uh, First Nations chiefs, uh, different mayors, uh, different municipal leaders across the province, reached out to student trustees. We've engaged, uh, you know, student union representation, uh, school unions, I should say, school boards. Um, you know, we've engaged a number of youth groups across the province of Ontario as well. Um, there was, you know, uh, I love Lake Simcoe group um, there as well. And, uh, and, and from my perspective, because the province is so vast, reaching out to rural families, agricultural families, hunter, hunting and anglers, 
um, indigenous, um, you know, youth uh, active in, in downtown Toronto, all the way to the shores of, uh, of Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, um, you know, and, and all across this province. So David, uh, let's talk a little bit about how uh, these youths can get involved, the age that you're looking for. I, I believe it's uh, grades 9 to 12 or anybody that's going to be in that range coming uh, this September. So let's talk about uh, how they can get, how they can uh, apply if they are interested in getting involved in this new uh, Environmental Youth Council. Yes, youth can apply by going to Ontario.ca forward slash OYC or Ontario Youth Council and uh and 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 apply over the next two week period i'm really hoping we'll see a number of local applications from our community it would be really exciting to have some local youth uh, with a seat at the table and uh and i'm very excited to see uh, see the breadth of applications we're going to receive as i mentioned i've worked closely with a number of groups to ensure uh, that we get the message out across the province of ontario so again ontario.ca forward slash um, YEC, sorry, Youth Environment Council, not OYC, Youth Environment Council, YEC. And, uh, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing applications. I'll also sharing it on social media. I know you'll share it on others. So we'll get the word out. And, and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing some of these applications. Obviously, it's going to go through a rigorous um, assessment process within the, uh, within the uh, public service and the ministry. But I'm looking forward to seeing the names that are selected and and who I'll be working with on this council. We've got uh, modules where we'll be, uh, you know, each session uh, we'll, we'll, we'll focus around a specific topic like climate change, like our park system, like uh, conservation, watershed, shed management. Um, and, uh, and we'll have a number of exciting speakers uh, that the youth council will hear from. So I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to this. How many individuals, David, are you looking for to sit around the table with yourself and the members of the Environment Ministry? Uh, approximately 12. So you have those 12 individuals, um, and obviously you're looking for a wide range of uh, ideas and topics to come because obviously they are the future of this province, as you were at one point as well, and myself as one point, but they are the future of this province, and they are the age that if you get them at a young age, uh, that they can start that they'll bring that information home to fa to families and you know sp spreading that news in the family as to what is good and what is bad because that has always been the key get them when they are young uh, to be able to take yes. to get that information home absolutely and um you know it's uh it, it's it's youth leaders that often not only will they bring ideas forward but what they learn and some of the things that they discuss the principles and policy that they work on We'll then take it home and teach mom and dad and teach their family and and talk to them about these important issues and again mark just because you can't uh, cast a ballot doesn't mean you don't deserve to have a say um in in the future of this province and and i think as you said uh youth at a young age um have so many bright ideas um and let's engage them let's give them this experience uh, the first time in ontario they'll really have that opportunity to tangibly work and develop a policy. And, and I'm excited to work with them. I don't want to be too overly prescriptive in where we're heading. I'm going to be looking actually, uh, Mark, we've got a full package we're, we're working on uh, to bring to the legislature. Uh, we're working on a number of things. We've got the, the COP, uh, we've got the COP conference in uh, Glasgow coming up where uh, Ontario will be supporting Canada and feeding into what, what we're doing at a national level. Um, so giving youth the opportunity to chew on these things, to, to discuss them, uh, to provide their input tangibly on, on you know, what, what I'm doing as a minister over the coming months, it's going to be really exciting. It sounds like a great initiative, uh, David, and uh, hopefully, and I'm sure there's going to be lots of interest from youth across the province to be involved. So thanks for taking time out of, uh, and I know, I know you're on the move again, going to your next announcements for sake, for taking time out to, uh, to spend a few minutes with, uh, with your TV to discuss this. Of course, no, always. I appreciate your time on this, Mark. First interview on this, so excited it's, it's local. And thanks very much, David. Have a great day.